So today I bought a lot of e-waste peripheral from Dollarama, so you don't have to. Please don't buy them. We have an RFGB keyboard here. It's the first time that I see on the marketing on the box that the, uh, it has 104 key and they show you the control key, so apparently that's like make it special. It's a uh, design for easy performance, great for gaming, USB plug and play and RGB and uh, soft key pressure. Then we have the Tech One uh, mouse. No clue how good it's gonna be. Of course, no setup would be complete with uh, some RGB lightning from Monster. From selling a $100 HDMI cable at Fritter Shop and Best Buy to Dollarama. So I'm confident it's gonna do lights. And the one that I'm the least confident on is the gaming voice chat headphones. Now every of those uh, peripheral cost me like $5 each, so there's like $20 of uh, peripheral here. Now a small note about the Rama, there's an article in La Presse that's basically uh, explaining how the Rama work. For, some, uh, for people that are not in Canada, they seem to almost have the monopoly for a um, dollar store in Canada. They are coded on the stock market. Uh, but the way it works is that if you go to a regular grocery store and you decide to buy pasta sauce, you maybe have like, I don't know, 50 different brand and flavor of sauce. But Delarama would make a deal with one or two company and giving them all shelf space for the pasta sauce. So they're only gonna be one or two kinds but in exchange, they get prices that are going to be way lower because they ask for a better deal uh, from you know the manufacturer and things like that for product. Okay, so let's start with unboxing the keyboard first. I mean, I'm expecting that I'll be able to type with it, but I'm just curious compared to like cheap Dell all Lenovo keyboard that come with like work, work PC, a lot of screw and you can sh see that it seems cheaply made but if it's working it's basically all you can ask right I mean it's clearly some kind of membrane and it does feel horrible while typing not the mouse yeah three of those peripherals are tech one uh, it's not by design, but it's what Dollarama had. I mean, the shape is not bad in the end, but the, that cheap plastic just feels horrible. And not that I expected it, but I don't see any DPI like switch or settings. Nah, because any gamer that respect himself needs some RGB because it's increased FPS, but at least 30%. When I saw those monster, um, RGB light bar I was like oh we need to try that I mean clearly someone put way more thoughts into that thing that I thought it would have and the product I'm the least confident the headset the gaming headset I read somewhere on reddit that some of them had like uh, left and right reverse so that's gonna be good I expect a rebel sound quality but when I saw it with the green, like it's an Xbox headset, I was like, yeah, we need to try that. Let's look at that great headset for a second. It's amazing to me that I haven't started my computer and I'll already regret the setup. Now the mouse is cycling through some kind of RGB color scheme. Both light bar are working, so that's good. I mean, it's, it's kind of hilarious that they're removed, like only like right now, turn one of the light bar on. Now, amusingly, two things happen when I plug it and uh, boot Windows. 
Now the mouse is flickering like crazy whilst is stop lighting in. But yeah, this is like horrible. Now I wish there would be a way for me to explain how mushy the keyboard feel. I would prefer any office keyboard used that you find at one or two dollars. But if inputting key is um, your main goal, I mean, I guess it's achieve it. The mouse feel quite fast on the screen. Oh so, yeah, we can see the mouse is quite fast. Like I know it's just dev, and I really don't want to play sh shooter with that. I feel. The mouse click fell off. I completely forgot I have Destiny on it, so now we're testing FPS. Not great, but it's playable. Like I could get used to it. Will I enjoy the experience? Mm, probably not. I really shouldn't I knew why the keyboard color stuff, but I'm sure I could plug it in another USB and see if it worked. But I think the quirkiness of the experience is a part of the cachet of having a this peripheral. Okay, now I feel like a real gamer. Honestly, the it's it didn't sound as bad as I thought it would be. Like, I had such a low expectation for it. Yeah, it's outputting sound. Is that sound uh, agreeable? Is does that sound like nice to hear? No, it's so loud and metallic. Like. Just, I really have a curiosity problem with that mouse. That surprised me. I guess if you're just doing Excel and things, you probably get used to it. Uh, we can adjust the volume though, because also it's killing me that only one of the light bar turn off. Like, I don't know if it's a controller for it or it's like I should have read the manual, but I'm not even sure I care at this point. Okay, so let's play some YouTube music. We're gonna start with some Swallow the Sun, amazing band. Uh, yeah, the sound, like, as soon as the bass and the metal kick off, like, and the drum, it's like all mush together as soon as it gets a little loud. It's like, it's outputting the voice of the singer and some music, but you cannot really distinguish like the drum in the instrument, which is amazing. So let's try piano. Maybe on low volume, piano classic was gonna work better. Yeah, low music, like low piano volume is not bad. Like, it's really uncomfortable as I had said, but I feel if it's not loud, at least you hear the sound. Okay, so how do I feel about like the um, Dollarama e waste peripheral setup? Let's go one by one. Uh, the light bar weird. It did it did its job, so I wouldn't advise it. But if you just want some kind of light RGB and you're able to fix the problem, maybe. But you know, go be like. Um, are really cheap so yeah i wouldn't really buy it it's kind of amusing to me that like i still I have issue with them no nah, the keyboard i really dislike yeah it the feedback I, that you get from it i don't like and also i'm really not sure why the light are off when you log to windows but yeah it's gonna type uh, i mean it's gonna work as a keyboard but you won't enjoy the feeling that you get from it and probably every cheap 
Dell, Lenovo, or a keyboard, even use that you can find of this keyboard will probably do the job. But if you just need something to type and on a tight budget, it's gonna do the job. Now the mouse is interesting. Like the scrolling wheel is fine. It's it's feel like any cheap mouse scrolling wheel that you normally would uh, have. But the only problem is that I don't feel it's super accurate when you aim. I know there's mouse software for it to test, but I'm like, it's really doesn't work it. But again, if you need a cheap mouse just to point at things, it's maybe not going to be super accurate, but it's, it's going to do the job. It's five bucks, right? So mouse, I think you'd have better option. Like the keyboard, I would try any home office keyboard is probably going to give you a better like feeling than that. Not the headset. That one is interesting. Like I plug it and it's output the sound. So I mean, that's the nicest thing I could say for it is that it's output sound. So you hear noise and music. But like the microphone seems super low, even if I boost it to the max in Windows. And the sound like it's like you have voice and instrument and music, and that's like too stream. There's no, you're not be gonna sit there and it's like, oh, I hear the piano, I hear the drum, now I hear the guitar. It's gonna be, I hear some kind of mush music, not so metallic, and I hear some voice. So what are the conclusion of this test? Well, I kind of feel like the meme from I come in the middle when it's like, I expect nothing and I still feel disappointed. Like, was it a good spend of $20 from me? Absolutely not. Now, I hope that like you learn something that maybe you don't buy e-waste keyboard and mouse and uh, hardware from uh, the dollar store. Now, it's not the, the store fault, but I really feel in the end you get what you pay for. Now, if you're in a buy and your mouse broke and you need something to finish, I don't know, office work or homework, it's fine. It's going to do the job as like, oh, I need a mouse and any kind of mouse will do. But in the long run, you won't enjoy it. And there's probably like cheaper option you can find at hardware. Well, not cheaper, but like better option for $10, $15 you can find in the hardware store. That's going to do long term better. So what did we learn here? Well, do not buy these e-waste peripheral. Now, it's kind of wasteful to just buy them to taste them. But because I live in a big city, I'm not too worried about it because I'm just going to put them uh, in the box in front of our building and say new. And in general, in 15 minutes, things disappear. So someone will take them and use them and hopefully get some enjoyment out of it. Or maybe they just need a peripheral and didn't have much money for it. So I'm not too worried about it, but I guess they kind of do the, their basic function, but terribly. Thanks for watching.